Hello guys, it's Marek here and in this video I'm going to talk about another way of converting images to black and white. I've got this image here I showed you in a previous film, tutorial how to convert the image to black and white using the channels. Here's another method using calculations. Now, as you know, you can cycle through the channels and they all appear as grayscale images. In this case, as I'm looking at different channels on this image, the blue channel has the highest contrast between the images. Looks really good. But I'm going to use a different technique this time. So I'm going to select the RGB composite back, and back to the layers panel, and you go to Image, Calculations. When the Calculations dialog box opens, you get the black and white image. It's going to set it to Multiply, which is the default. Okay. And this should be red as well. Okay. So we got the image, our source. We got one layer and one of the channels. So you can target one of the channels here. I'm going to leave it as, as red, which is the default. For the second source, I'll be using the same image. Okay. A layer background as well. We don't have any extra layers in here. This image only has background layer, so that's okay. And then for the channel, red looks okay. But I was thinking about blue, because as you remember, the blue had the highest amount of contrast. So blue may look better. Okay. And by default, calculations will use multiply blend mode. But what you can do is you can look for different blend modes. For example, maybe overlay. Or probably a bit too contrasty. But, you know, you can just play with it. Now, multiply looks good. Now, what looks good to me is the difference as well. A bit more like negative, but a really interesting effect. Now what if we change the channel to maybe red, which was the default? Whoops, no. We need to use different channels. Green looks interesting. What about blue? Yeah, blue looks a bit better. And as a result, we can create a new channel or selection or even new document. Okay. So for example, one well, new channel obviously is a new channel, so always choose new channel, click OK. Nothing's changed here, but if you look in the channels panel, you get a new alpha channel. Okay, now let's do it again and let's see what happens when we use another option. So I'm just going to undo, Control Z or Command Z, image calculations, red, blue, difference, that's great, and as a result, we'll create a new document. I will click OK. And now Photoshop creates new untitled document. This is the original, it's still in color. This is the new untitled document. If you look in the channels panel, it's just one channel, just the alpha channel. And let me show you just another option. So I'm going to close that. No image calculations. And we can choose new selection or click OK. And we get a, oh, sorry, and we get a selection. So just some options for using calculations. I like the one with the uh, new channel, where it creates a new channel here in the channels panel. So from now, have a look on it. Experiment with the calculations in Photoshop for conversions to black and white. Yeah, image calculations. Okay. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.